Hey y'all, there's Nostagio here, and let's just get everybody up to speed here. So, I got a new base, so I know I switch bases a lot, but I decided to move a little bit away from the PM base, which looked like, I guess, yeah, you're right, it did kind of look like a stealth bomber, to I went, like, to this one, which is an open base, which means you don't use your walls to sort of contain your base, you simply use your walls to control the hero pathing, and so we'll run that one a little bit. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the high-speed videos with some cool music, and uh, let's get on with it. So first off, let's go get some magic. And then I'll also bring everyone up to speed uh, as to what level we're at on all of our buildings and heroes and town hall and whatnot. So uh, honor badges, I'm running out and so are you all uh, per your comments. So first off, let's go do some raiding. Might has just reset, so I did level my druid a little bit today up to 63 and it looks like Succubus went to 62. That's not bad. But again, uh, we're getting the majority of our experience from raiding. And look at all this gold we get. Am I capped out yet? Look at all that gold I got, guys. Again, yeah, a lot of good healthy debate there between centaurs and griffins. Dirty birds, as I call them. And hoochie mamas for griffins, because they're beautiful. Look at them. Oh, so beautiful. Ari's Fervor, we have also been researching that. And uh, Restoration is a good way to combat uh, the Ground Pound Cannons if you ever do encounter them too on Centaurs. Because Centaurs are Ground Walkers, so they get pounded by Ground Pounder Cannons. Which are those Mortar Cannons that uh, hit the Ground Troops. And yeah, rating is going real well. Uh, as you can see again, a lot of people using the Dirty Birds. These are level 1 Dirty Birds, and you can tell that they're level 1 because they're dark brown body with white wings. When they start to get a tan body with the blue color in their chest, that's a level four or five griffin. So they're a little they're a little tougher, but again, I just have level one centaurs right now. Unless they leveled up, uh, maybe we'll go check that. Oh, what's this beast and feast? What do I got there? Collect five million gold. Wow, my account's like three days old. I've got five million gold already. So we will take those gems, of course. Not like we're gonna say no to free gems, man. Yeah, I, I do like the centaurs. Anyways, what I got here, I got I got a gold vault level 10 and 11. And all my hero bases, I've been using my excess mana there. Do that, bring these up. These can really go any up to any level. Because they only add one might per time you level them up. So don't worry about that. I do have my blue bubbles of beauty at level 9. Going to bring those to 10 here at some point. Again, I only have two builders. So let's not go too crazy here, guys, on uh, building. Well, it looks like my relic hull is almost done. That, I did bring my relic hull up to level... Well, it's going to be level 8 now. And the reason I did that is I've capped out my research. So obviously, Restoration's level 5. Can't go any higher there. Ari's Fervor is level 3. And I want to go higher. I want to. But guess what? Unlocks that building level 8. So when you get that message, that's what tells you it's finally, slowly, it's time to level it. So you don't just level it, level it, level it, and then research magic. No, you got to do this in a proper order so that uh, raiding stays really easy because that's where we get the majority of our experience. I also brought my hero altar up to level 7, and all my army camps are still level 6. Town Hall's now level 9, and I think that's about it. In terms of my heroes... All I've done is I've unlocked Druid uh, 62, 63 level right now. Everything else is 3 star. Shiny stars of what? Jesus is coming. Hallelujah. Anyhow, so what should we do? I guess we could go do some raiding or we could do some dungeons. We do have to do dungeons to get shards. I like 2-1. Let's show you 2-1. I farmed 2-1 on my 
all my other accounts like hull oh, so many times but what's really interesting about 2-1 is druid can solo it at a pretty early level so that's one option you have like if i just want to level these two heroes of mine succubus and druid i can just pop him in there and it's pretty easy now you i didn't grab oh i forgot to grab my magic oh that's no good but let's just see if druid can keep him up there hey look at that succubus did i call succubus a him clearly that's the one hero that's not a him. Like Spirit Mage, you could be like, I don't know, that could be a dude under that shell. And Marauder, who's the who's the like the keg of just the wooden keg. I mean, I secretly think that there's a woman inside that keg. I mean, it's just the affirmative action person in me. But uh, yeah, Succubus, th there's no mistake there. I mean, she's got a whip and she's got leather and she's not wearing much leather. <laughs> Yeah, 2-1's a fun one here. Uh, you could just solo or duo your druid up in this one. It's pretty easy. I like to just run the two of them and get all the experience. I don't even drop troops just because they're just getting hit by the cannons. Uh, the towers, I should say. It's a level 10 tower there. And so I just decide to run them uh, straight up. And let's see if Succubus can beat them. Oh yeah, she'll, she'll get them. And if you get lucky, you get a couple shards. Also, so 250 experience each, and, you know, if you go look at the altar, they only need a couple thousand there to level, so I guess that would take a long-ass time, so I wouldn't recommend doing that. And normally I just recommend, you know, go to the highest, farthest dungeon, and just keep going on the dungeons, you know, keep shard farming those shards. Look, oh, I haven't done this dungeon yet. Let's check it out. Dungeon 2. Skull 2, I should say. Blue Tower 2. And we got some 68s, and of course, yeah, I keep forgetting magic, guys. Because, you know, when your Relic Hall is upgrading, you uh, it doesn't tell you that you you need to buy magic. It's kind of, it should do that. That's kind of, I think that's just a bug. But uh, but it does tell me to upgrade my uh, Hero Altar right here. Look at that. Patch. They had a patch just to do that. What the hell were they thinking? Yet when you upgrade the Relic Hall, you can't give me a little message that says, Buy magic. Buy me. Buy me. Spend money on me. All right, I got my magic. Dungeon 2. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to drop my heroes, but you never know. I'm going to have my troops on standby. We're going to let the druid... Oh, actually, we got paladin tank. I really got three tanks on these here. Th these three heroes right here are basically tanks. So y you could tank with these, and we're going to let them get the aggro, and then we're just going to drop the rest of our heroes in. Slow here. Don't just spam drop everything like when you're raiding. Rating's the one exception because we're being really smart. We're being really smart here. So, in terms of our might. And also, Ari's Fervor does work on heroes. Even though it says it doesn't. So that increases the base attack power of everyone. And I lost uh, Cyclops. You know, I'm, my reputation on Cyclops, Cyclops is starting to diminish here. Oh, fine. I'll drop the troops. And the reason it's starting to diminish is simply because Cyclops is real, real soft. That big, mean, large man is, is quite the softy, in my opinion. And yeah, this executioner just keeps owning the hell out of me. <laughs> Maybe I should have just dropped all my troops. I would have probably done a little better. But, you know, I keep thinking of Guardian Angel, which is magic that comes when you upgrade your Relic Hall a little bit farther and... That gives you that invincibility shield, so I kept looking for it, you know, because I'm so used to playing on my main account, which obviously has four spell slots. So, yeah, that's all right. No bad. Not too bad. But, no, raiding's real fun, you know, and you just keep raiding, raiding. I can perma-raid just all day. I mean, I don't even have to stop to rest. I don't need centaurs. I don't need anything. I can actually raid with down to two heroes. I could raid this base right here. The reason I can raid this base is because these troops right here are very weak to this centaur. Oop. Extra damage, but now these army camps are pretty high level, so there's quite a few of them there. I'm going to lose, obviously, all my centaurs, but but at the same time, well, no, some made it. Wow, actually, quite a few made it. I didn't lose too many at all. I mean, I just prefer getting experience from raiding and not from dungeons. I mean, I get it. I get why people do dungeons. They do dungeons to get shards, but I'm not a really... I'm not a huge fan of 
sitting in a dungeon all day farming it over and over and over again. Haven't done it on my main. Haven't really done it on any of my secondary accounts, so... I just don't think it's so good. Yeah, I kind of I kind of came at this guy with a week. I just wanted to fill up my gold. Why? I'm not sure. I'm probably going to go town hall here in a minute. Eek! Town hall. Yeah, I don't want to... I guess it doesn't really matter if I lose Druid at this point. Let's just see if Druid can take out this camp. And, of course, there's Druid on Druid action here. Little D on D. Dirty Distagio, baby. Oh, yeah, they got me. Actually, uh, that wasn't too terrible of a base. <laughs> All those pyromancers. And those are level 5. But look at that. Oh. Failure. It's okay to fail, guys. It's okay to fail. You still get experience. 600 experience divided by two heroes. That's why I did that. You know, when you're closing out your knight here, I just want to mention, be sure when you close out your knight to hire up all your troops and then run here be monsters. So I've just showed you this base in a couple videos, the high speed videos. And yeah, I always like to hire troops. Oops, not that guy. Not mustache man. Come on now. Not that kind of guy. No mustache man for me. And yeah, once all your heroes wipe, well, guess what? And all your troops wipe. I don't mind. I don't mind if that happens. Why would I mind? Because that just tells me to run a, a Here Be Monsters A. Run it over and over and over again, guys. Don't try to redesign your base and beat B. I'm formulating right here a base to use for Here Be Monsters B. Let's open design. It's like a peon clover. You know, 93 Warmaster, or Leary 93 in-game... Uh, put out a YouTube video, oh, that's probably over a month, maybe two months ago, on uh, open base design, and uh, way back on my main account, I couldn't beat D so many, probably about a month ago, probably two months ago. I'm getting old. And uh, I couldn't beat it, and I was just chatting with Leary93 one day, in-game, or maybe been in line, the line application, chat app. And he said, so try out this base, try out the Clover, or the Death Clover. Never really liked the name, to be honest with you. <laughs> but uh, that's why we're going to, I, I kind of, it, it has four openings, like a four-leaf Clover. There's four leaves on a four-leaf Clover. So I kind of like the Clover part. I just don't think it was very deathly. <laughs> you know what I mean? It looks actually pretty weakly, but it's a great base because... You're not using the walls at all to keep troops out. That is not the intention. You're using them to control the pathing. So that all the troops, when they come into the center, always aggro all your five heroes. And then while they're coming towards a vault or... Yeah, it would always be a mana vault or gold vault. All five of your heroes are wailing away on them as they're attacking a gold vault. So it is really, I'll say abusing, dirty up. We're dirtying up on them. Because we are playing a little dirty. You gotta always take advantage of, you know, your knowledge of the game, so. And yeah, Here Be Monsters Day is pretty slow, obviously, super slow. And it's because you gotta clear those buildings out up there. So. Once they clear those buildings out, the next waves happen real easy, real fast, and there's no issues. It goes pretty slick. In fact, my other account, Godfuzzy, can do two Here Be Monster Gs before this account does Here Be Monsters A. <laughs> that's pretty funny, isn't it? But that's because in Here Be Monsters G, all the hero waves are such high level, like 145 plus that they move really, really, really fast. So it does not take them long to clear all your buildings and then they come towards the center of your base and you own them and you're good to go. And so here they're coming towards the center. They're aggro on a gold vault. See how they're attacking gold vaults and then my heroes attack them. Now don't even, don't even waste your time on trying to do here be monster B at this point. This base cannot do B, guys. I've tried on three accounts to be here be monster B without towers and you need towers. You need towers to beat B. Or you need like level 120 heroes, in which case you probably shouldn't be doing B. <laughs> you should be doing something much higher. And you are limited by, by your towers. So, Oh, geez, what's going on up here? 
Oh, look at this, Marauder. Oh, this is worthless. This is worthless. Worthless sod of a human being. I knew I shouldn't have put that town hall there. Why did I do that? I figured they would all path up there and destroy it right away. Those bastards. So that's a learning lesson for you there. That's not a good spot for the town hall. Obviously, this would have been a pretty easy, clean kill. So I'm going to move my town hall, I guess, over here. And it should be fine there. But now it's not feng shui. My base needs to be feng shui. You know what I'm saying? So maybe I'll put it down here. I originally had it down here, but I thought it was just kind of a little cooler to have it up there. But Now, there's no defense on this base, but this base is actually very difficult to attack. Let's see if someone got me good, though. Okay, this probably wasn't a real full attack. Let's just... Oh, my lord, it was a full attack. He's sending in all his troops. And guess what? They're all aggroing on the... <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. They all aggroed on the mana vault, right? And then all of a sudden... Holy cow, I smoked him. Now, and the reason why I'm beating him here isn't because I'm better than them. It's simply because I'm it's level 60 heroes against level 40 heroes. Why? Why does a level 40 rating against me? Because I, when I do my paid raids, I'm hitting people that are equal in might to me. It's just that they spent all their might on buildings, and I spent all my might on heroes, which is what's most important in the game. So you can see, I got pretty much all 20, 25%, and then I got one failure here. Let's go watch the failure, guys. This is like my fail video, where it's like, oh, here's my old base, my open design. And he's coming in with guardians? Something else has got to be coming. There they are. There's all his heroes there. They're coming at me there pretty good. So yeah, see, look at this guy. So he's level 60s coming at me against my level 60s. And he's got the benefit of having all those troops where I had no troops up. So he's clearly going to get the win here. This guy did everything right. So he's probably following along right now. Such a smart dude right here. Who is that? Smallish Wheel 12. Look at that. He did. A, he's doing things right. See? So overall, that's kind of where we're at, guys. And uh, as always, dirty up.